is a subtle character that's mixed with explosive action. A third-person action adventure game that anybody can pick up and play. Make you feel like Jason Bourne. Like all sorts of new things that you've never seen done before, but have a much higher level of action. They experience something new and fresh. With your hands on the controller, when you're playing it, it says, "Boss feels right." When you want to bring a character to life in a video game, the first thing you have to do is look at that character, and that character's got to drive everything that you do in the game. The novels are very character-driven. The um, the movies have electric dialogue, terrific performances. The Heart of Warren is it's the fantasy of being, you know, the super spy, right? The guy who, he's got a fragmented memory. He doesn't know quite what he is, but he's got these crazy reactions. He's, he's an amazing fighter. It starts all like Mitchell Pavellon with our concept artist coming up with, with a, a look for, for the character. We sent a small core team to Paris and Marseille and other parts of Europe uh, when, when we first started the project. From our viewpoint, there are two Borns. There's the, you know, the guy who's reclaimed his memory in the first movie, The Born Identity, and then there's the guy that he was before that, the assassin. We do a series of flashback missions where we're able to see Bourne as his full-blown assassin self. We take you to Lithuania, we take you to Paris, we take you to Zurich, take you to places and events from Bourne's past and get to rid of those missions. On Wambosi's boat where he goes to assassinate him, they're alluded to in the movie, but in the game we play them fully out. We have various vision modes that the player can activate that allow him to see the world as Jason sees the world. That's what we're calling in the game Bourne Awareness, your ability to look around the game and be able to assess your environment. A lot of audio is tied to that. The audio ducks and there's sort of stingers and cues to the player that he is in this heightened uh, state. We have tried to make Jason Bourne, the video game, as special in its way as the movies and the novels are. We were fortunate to have the book property um, to, to help us come up with a vision for the game. They've been very good about allowing us to move in directions that we needed to to make sure that this game is relevant, fun, and successful. We are delivering on their vision of what the Ludlam Estate is, is all about. It starts all the way from visual development with our concept artists coming in with a, a look for the character. So get the right people together. That means programmers and animators and the, a cinematic guy or camera specialist. Small teams, but each team contains all the disciplines. And then let them do their job. Let them be really creative and deliver something spectacular. One of the advantages we have at High Moon Studios is we are a one-stop shop. We can do almost everything under one roof here. We have our own motion capture studio. We have an extensive... Uh, production art department, we have a sound department, really kind of a mini movie studio on our own. In Born Movies he uses a uh, Filipino martial art called Kali, and which is what we adapted for the game using um, Jeff Amata, who's the fight coordinator um, of the movies. As we zeroed in on the fight style, that was our primary goal, is make you feel like Jason Bourne in a fight. We came here and had trained our game designers and our artists and our animators on the philosophy of his fight style. So we make animations that suit his fight style. We make cameras that technically behave like the cameras in the movies do. Handheld, free camera, and try to, to get that, that feeling that you're actually in there, in the game with the player. I think we have a really good suite of tools here on the camera side. You know, how can we really push the boundaries of video game development? He's using objects in the world that you wouldn't think of as weapons. He's a guy that finds stuff. He, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll be able to kill you with a paperback book. He can knock you out with a pencil. So you can fight one guy, you can fight two guys. It's three guys, four guys, all at once, and takes him down. This kind of fight dance, this, this slow-mo, fast metal kind of cool piece that feels very born like It's ultimately a game. It's, a, it's, a, it's something you hold in your hands, and you move the thumbsticks, and you push the buttons. And that, first and foremost, has to feel good. Our job is to uh, reward players with a, with a fun experience. We're using every trick that we have in the bag and we're inventing new tricks all the time. As a industry, I think we're starting to embrace finding the heart of your property and delivering what the consumer wants. We hope this is going to be really fresh, uh, really uh, interactive, at the same time cinematic to agree that fans haven't seen in a video game before. We're at that stage right now working on the game where every day it just gets better and better.